Katie. I think I turned it off. Yeah. Katie, after that, you have Star um, from Texas a and Just what was your message to them in the huddle, and um, how do you think that they responded to that? I don't think I can say what I said. <laughs> I honestly don't remember what I said. Um, you know, I think we had talked about a couple of things about them being aggressive, getting in a passing lane, um, and it's exactly what happened. Um, it was a missed free throw, rebound, two points. Um, they back cut us first play, um, then what, Barker hits a, a three. Um, yeah, I, I mean, Okay, that's we're spotting eight, eight points. Um, we got to win the next what 38 and a half minutes by more than eight. So um, a lot of resiliency there in that first quarter. Uh, it took us a minute to, to get to lead, but I thought defensively we locked in uh, to our game plan. Thought if we were able to set our our defense in the half court, um, they would struggle scoring it. Um, and then after so after that, what first 70, 80 seconds, whatever it is, they you know they had 48 points or. You know, 50 points the rest of the game. So pretty, pretty good defensively for us. How pleased were you with the improvement in the in the turnover category against such? I felt like they were the most aggressive team that you guys played this year. Um, UCLA was pretty aggressive, <laughs> which is crazy because we turned the ball over more against Southern um, mm -hmm. than we did UCLA. Uh, but we thought two things needed to happen: we needed to take care of the basketball, and then we needed to keep them off the offensive glass. Obviously, we didn't do that other part. Um, uh, but but we were tough enough um, to to find a way, and uh, Abby and Rashonda in the third quarter offensively just you know put on a show for everybody. And going off that, just what does it do for the offense when those two are able to play at their peak um, on, at the same time? Yeah, um, both of them were not very good on Sunday. You know, I think what one for eight and three for eleven. I think on Sunday. Um, some, some careless turnovers. Thought that they could get into the paint. Um, and I thought of Abby, especially there in the first quarter, kind of got us going, got getting into the paint, playing off two feet, shot picking, um, getting people in foul trouble a little bit. And then Rashonda, I mean, her elevation on her jumper is, you know, elite. It's like next level kind of stuff. Um, and I mean, just feel really good about, you know, those two making plays. The luxury of bringing Rashonda off the bench to kind of match what they have or match what they had athletically tonight how much did that kind of help you yeah. put, push yourself over the edge i thought jayla too um you know jayla and china both coming off the bench um athletic you know just athleticism and length i know jayla goes over for four but um you know she was she she's a problem because she she physically matches up to 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 them um in terms of length and athleticism um you know and i thought everybody you know whoever got the game and, and on the bench too like those who did it like just their their commitment um to each other was really really special tonight um obviously you know mary ashley only plays what eight minutes she has two really good first games um but her commitment and uh you know to to her teammates and celebrating her teammates we talk about it all the time i think matt even mentioned it the other day about how how many great players he has and how hard it is to, to keep everybody happy in terms of playing time. But um, we found something there in the third quarter that was working, and, and we just kind of rolled with it. And our group was committed to one thing, and that was Purdue winning. The impact of Caitlin Harper tonight, especially in that first half, how much did that kind of push you to, to what you were able to do in the second half? Yeah, I mean, the three at the end of the second quarter was, was big. Um, you know, we, playing them last year, we knew they liked to hedge ball screens. Um, and Caitlin got, was able to get s to some pops. Um, and they started a, a little bit different tonight. Um, and then as the game went on there in the first half, I thought um, Abby and Rashonda, you know, got into the paint and were able to find um, Caitlin for a couple couple threes there in the first half. But I, I don't know, you know, you can tell me how many, that, that's like a, a high for Caitlin defensive rebounds um, while she's been here, you know, just, battling inside for 37 minutes you know your sixth year of college her just battling everything that she she took on inside um just a massive massive game by number 34 for us you know we talked about this stretch that you're in you know going to the bahamas next week and playing a couple more sec teams but 
get off to this kind of start in this stretch? How does this how does this hopefully help you next week? Yeah, it, well, it makes the flight down to the Bahamas a little bit better, right? <laughs> makes my sleep a little bit better tonight. Um, but you know, we we talk a lot about where where we want to go and getting this program back to the NCAA tournament. You know, consistently, you got to win games like this. Um, you got to beat your power five opponents, and you got to protect your home floor. And uh, thought you know the crowd tonight was was really really good for us. Um, you know, I, I think the more people come to, to watch this ball club play, watch this ball club play, the more they're gonna fall in love with how hard um, we play and how, how how much we want to win. Hey, coach, uh, what's what's going on? Um, I uh, just had to, you know, notice a couple of the possessions there, things that don't uh, show up on this stat sheet. Uh, but there were a couple of possessions there, especially in the second half, uh, with or second quarter with with Caitlin Phil, uh, with Caitlin Harper, um, you know, contesting shots, not fouling, um, things that you know maybe don't result like in four or five blocks, but you know yeah. still impact the outcome. What kind of discipline does it take to not bite on that first move to stay planted, and to you know really change the angles of, of some of those shots that were beneficial to you guys uh, going on that jump? Yeah, the I mean, court. really, really good point. Um, Caitlin's just solid. You know, she doesn't jump because she's not, you know, she's not blocking shots, um, but she plays angles really well. Um, and and tonight um, with with wear inside, we wanted to jump her left shoulder. I know she turned right shoulder and got a couple buckets there, uh, but we just thought. You know, instead of bringing a double, we thought Caitlin was strong enough to physically handle her, even though she had length. And, and Caitlin just played the scout perfectly. You know, jumped her left shoulder. Um, and a couple times, you know, where it turns middle and wants to come back to that left shoulder, and Caitlin just stays solid. Um, she, I think she knows she's not blocking shots, but uh, she just, and you just trust that she's going to be in the help, in, in, be in there, be there for help um, when you need her. Uh, and yeah, just a, just a really, really good game for for Caitlin for us. Uh, Janae Terry, I mean, seemingly uh, coming so close to to another double double tonight. I mean, ten assists. Um, the amount of pressure that she's able to draw to herself to open up uh, some of those cuts that led to the buckets um, for for Rashonda and and for Abby. How important is that aspect of her game? The ability to you know, keep her dribble, draw those those defenders, and, and you know, really free up your offense to see. Yeah, just a, a you know a, a really good heady point guard understands where, where her shooters are, whether it's Abby Mads, um, Caitlin on pops, uh, strong body, right? So she she's able to take some contact and take some hits, uh, get her to finish that that layup that layup. She gets herself a double double, but you know, all second half, I think she had one rebound. At, at halftime, I was like, you gotta give me 10, you gotta give me 10. And I thought she made a conscious effort. She only finished with, with four there in the second half, but she made a conscious effort to get to the defensive glass. For sure, two more questions on me, uh, talking about the fans and you know just mm -hmm. getting to take a picture and really seeing uh, those, those aisles filled and you've made it a major emphasis um, you know, in the early going of this season, how you want to bring back the, tra the tradition of Purdue women's basketball and making sure that those games um, are you know possibly sold out. For you to sort of see that, did you, did you get a chance to sort of look at the Raptors and see, wow, you know, look yeah. at this from from Southern uh, to now, and then you know coming back with how you played in the first uh, first few minutes to see how the crowd was responding at the end. Yeah, actually walking down the tunnel, I think I said to Z, you know, man, look at that student section, and that's what we want, right? We, you know, we we always have a great fan base, and we just try to get a little bit more every single time. Um, you know, it's on us, right? We got to play high quality opponents and we have to win basketball games. Everybody wants to support winners. Um, and, and if we can just keep competing, keep working, um, you know, we're pleased with this, right? We're, gonna, we're not we're not, really, we're not satisfied. We've got a long way to go to, to get to where we were, but that crowd, we, we fed off their energy. You know, I think, you know, Abby and Shonda, JT especially, really emotional players um, fed off uh, the juice that they gave us. And hopefully when we come back next Sunday after Thanksgiving, um, this place is even more filled. And lastly, we talked uh, before how you were hoping to get a better performance out of Abby and Rashonda, both of them combined. 58.9% from the field, both putting up 20 pieces. Um, for Rashonda, though, specifically, 
what is it that she has to do to continue to have games like that and play with, with the confidence and, and the relaxation that she showed uh, tonight against a very physical and uh, you know really poking sort of uh, defending team like uh, like Texas A&M. Yeah, Shonda's a gamer. You know, she's she's been in big games in high school and in AAU, um, and and just that like we she nobody wants to watch film more than Shonda, right? Like she's probably already texted Z, hey, when are we watching tomorrow? Um, so she's she's taking everything and she's just learning. Um, I think tonight she was on the floor a little bit with more with JT and, and Matt, so kind of calmed some nerves or not calmed some nerves, but there's just a veteran leadership out there um, with JT and Mads on the court with Shonda and uh, I, you know I think you know between you know all of our young kids um, really really special group um, you know we said it before MA had a couple really big games to start the season and, and Shonda just responded today for us so hopefully that continues um, and we just keep getting better and better. Um, does this game you know tell you something about your team that that you know just a file away player that they can respond like this and just take over a game against a opponent like, like the Aggies? Yeah, just, um, you know, you hope, right? You, you hope that you build and, and gain some confidence from, from big big games like this. Obviously, other Power 5 schools. Um, I, I will tell you this. I don't, I don't know if we if we win this game if we didn't go out to UCLA and, and face what we faced out there. Um, and we, we, we spoke all along, like, that royally sucked. Um, but we knew, we saw where we needed to get better. Um, we saw what we needed to work on. Um, and so we weren't intimidated by their size. We weren't intimidated, intimidated by their length. Um, and even after the first, what, 80 seconds, we didn't back down. So you hope we just keep, keep, you know, keep fighting and, and continue to, to get better on those moments because it doesn't get any easier with size and length um, in our next two games. Thanks, Thanks y'all.